Hello, everybody. Welcome to the art section of your virtual open evening. Uh, my name and I am the head of art at Copleston. Um, you can see my, my face up on the screen. Um, the other lady that you can see is Mrs Cooper. She is one of the teachers of art. Um, Mrs Cooper and I share the Year 12 and Year 13 art teaching groups. So if you were to pick to study art, you would likely have us as your teachers. Art at Copleston at A level has become a very popular subject again. Um, it's a very individually driven subject uh, and at, at this moment in time that might not mean too much to you but I'll go on to explain that a little bit more in, in the next couple of slides. Um, but studying art at A level isn't too too dissimilar to what you might have experienced at GCSE. Um, so you go on to continue looking at artists, drawing, photographs and exploring different techniques and materials and you produce a final piece. Um, the difference at A-level is uh, that you get to explore much more exciting and a more extensive range of creative and technical skills. Um, and like I said, it's much more individually driven. So our exam board is Edexcel. Um, the title of the course we look at is, is Fine Arts. Um, that course is split up into two components. The first component is the personal portfolio. Um, that is made up of two parts. One part being practical, one part being a, a written assignment. The practical work um, is very much uh, linked in with what the title of that component is, is a personal portfolio. So what that means is that you would pick your topic essentially. So if you were interested in portrait painting or if you were interested in um, clay sculptures of the figure, um, you would be able to explore that. Okay, now something re that really sets us apart from other sick forms is that we offer digital um, methods of working too. So if you had an, an interest in digital paintings, that's something that you could also explore. Um, but essentially the role of the teacher in that section of your course is to, to guide you and provide you with tutorials to, um, to ensure that you um, produce high quality work. OK, um, the personal study, like I said, is a, is a written assignment. Um, so it's about a thousand words. So it's about one A4 page. Um, and, and really, that's a theme of your own choice. Again, uh, commonly students choose to relate those two topics um, because they, they can then both work together really well. Um, so the second component is the externally set assignment. Um, that assignment is set by the exam board. Um, so in February of year 13, always on the 1st of February, that exam paper is released to you. And then, then you'd have three, four months uh, to produce a body of practical work in response to that title. The coursework section of the A-level is worth a total of 60% of your 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 end of course grade and the exam section is worth 40%. Um, personally, I think it's great that uh, such a large amount of that A-level comes from coursework, to be honest. The art department at Copleston office lots of things that um, lots of other art departments uh, across this sort of region don't, to be honest. Um, we have a, a classroom in the art area um, which is specifically for sixth form students. So essentially we give you an art studio space to work in. Um, and one of the reasons we do that um, is so that you can use your lesson time outside of lessons to be able to access materials, to be able to do your work. Um, but also because uh, if you were to choose to do art or any sort of creative subjects really um, at, at university after sick form, you, you'd likely have some kind of studio space. Um, so we provide that so that but you can develop those habits and make use of that time. Um, but also uh, one, one of the things that we do at Copleston um, is, is we allow you to actually um, work on those individual topics uh, during your personal portfolio unit. Um, 
we, that that's partly because the, the teachers at Copleston in the art department are so very experienced. Um, I myself um, am a drawing and painting specialist. Um, and I have a very soft spot for sculpture, if I'm honest. Uh, and, and Mrs. Cooper is very experienced with printmaking and textiles. So between us, we we have knowledge in sort of every every area that you might want to go down, and and we have complete faith in being able to teach and direct anything that you might want to do um so we, we set ourselves apart because we allow you to do that and, and not every sick form does um or not every art department in sick form centers do even so we help you to uh, give um, a student view um so a level art is the subject i enjoy the most whilst most subjects are about learning content i feel art is student centered it's about me the art room is a space where i have the freedom to express my ideas and thoughts and work creatively with the support of my teachers um and i feel like that's such a fantastic overview of, of what it's like to study art um because that's that's what we aim for we want art to be about you OK, and, and how that's going to benefit you and, and what you can explore, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, any questions about the course or any content of the presentation, please do email me. Um, like I said, my name is Miss Hodgkinson. I am the head of department um, and my email address is up on there if you would like to note it down. But yeah, any questions that you have, please do do ask if you have any. Thank you.